Sounds good. How do I? So welcome everyone to our Chaos Evolution Working Group meeting on November 7, 2019. All right. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm coming to you from the International Space Station. <laughs> How's the weather up there? Pretty good. I mean, my Tesla got me here really fast, so. <laughs> That's what matters. I'm actually coming back for lunch. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got a couple... Um, a couple of PRs to work through, uh, <laughs> Georg. Um, we should probably I, start by saying there's a few PRs that we merged and we should just review. Yeah, yeah, and we're those, just... Yeah, go ahead. And we merged them because there were like four of us trying to clean up the evolution repository, yeah, get rid of no old reason. ones and put new ones in, and it was just hard to coordinate if we didn't merge things. So mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Carter, probably the first thing is just to review the things that we merged. Just yeah. So in case there's any objections, which I doubt there will be, because everybody likes it when someone cleans their house. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, have, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and share my screen. Yeah, I saw all of the pull requests mm -hmm. come through. I get emails about everything. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. all no need to review it, from my opinion. Cool. I, was, I think it's just a brief review for the recording, just in yeah. case anybody decides to watch the recording. <laughs> we don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but just... yeah. So that it's yeah. clear that we're not like doing something nefarious by you know, yeah. creating, creating crazy metrics without reviewing it yeah. first. <clears throat> so uh, for posterity's sake, uh, the first one that we merged was this one, the switch code changes lines. Um, this was the second metric that uh, I worked on at retemplating it. Um, it's the same as the all the other retemplating ones. It just changes this. Um, it changed, there was one white space change I made in here to be consistent with the rest of the uh, changes, we, changes we made. And then all of this is just porting stuff over to the new template. Um, the next one was, uh, I believe it was this one. Um, so the community growth focus area um, somehow got missed in the transition of working on the new focus areas when we were breaking up code development. So this one just adds that back in as a focus area in the readme, um, just so people know it exists. Um, just so for posterity's sake, I think it just got lost in the transition. Um, the other one, uh, another one was uh, this. So this one takes all of the metrics in code development efficiency and switches them over. So reviews accepted, um, declined, and I think just iteration or duration, sorry. Um, it just switches all of those, just those three metrics in code development efficiency. And then the last one, um, so yesterday we were cleaning up the metrics folder and there were some old templates um, that like were in the metrics that didn't really ever get used. Um, like this template, this template folder and metric schema, I don't remember how old they were. Sean was the one who deleted them, but since we have the new chaos metric, we just felt it was pertinent to not even have that weird disconnect of why are there two templates folders? There's just the one templates folder in um, the focus area folder. And so, that's what uh, this one does. And then there were also a couple of metrics files that um, we felt were basically the same metric twice, um, or it's like defined so similarly that we thought it was not pertinent to have both of them. It would just like one could be basically a subset of the other. Um, so those duplicates and, and ones that we didn't think um, really made any sense to have their own files, we got rid of those as well. I think some of them also were accidental deletes, but there's a commit, there's a pull request we'll go through, which we'll add them back in. Um, and we mm. can talk more about that. But those are the, I think those are the, the four big ones that um, that we've merged already. I say like big. The 258, removing old templates is resolving issue 255. Once you consolidate two template folders. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep, that, uh, yeah, that yeah, the old template folder was extremely confusing to me. <coughs> the person who created the old template folder, mm -hmm. <laughs> because the new template folder is different. Mm -hmm. Okay, good stuff. Um, this one, I'm just looking at this issue really quick. Um, okay, so since I added community growth in, um, this isn't quite done, but it's almost done, and I have another. Um, 
I did the issue resolution metrics. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that part in a second. Um, before we go through the the ones that we haven't merged yet, are there any questions? Well, first one you showed, I wanted to jot down the number as well. Yep. Um, let me see. So that would be uh, 254. 254. Okay. Yep. And we have all the numbers in here. Perfect. Yep. God, why is it so blisteringly hot? All I did was turn the heating on a little bit. Sorry. My apartment's being very finicky with the heat today. Um, okay. Shall we move on to the ones we haven't merged yet? Yes. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so we'll start with the the first one, 259. Um, so this one is another, uh, switch it here, let me put the link in the chat just for uh, posterity's sake, just for ease of, so we can all pull it up if we want to. Um, oops, I mean to do that. So this one just switches, it says all of the code development process quality metrics. It's just reviews is the only one that's currently like defined to be in that focus area. Um, so that's the only one it changes. And this is the same, it's the same sort of changes as all the other ones, just switching over how we did that first metric um, together on the call two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago or, yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, just switching, switching over all of that stuff um, in the same vein. So again, doesn't add uh, anything. Um, at the top, should we bolt question or not? I always forget. What is so, it? We did it bolded when we did it together, but I don't think it's that way in the template. I've been doing it. The bolded. template does not have it bolded. Okay. I just did it bolded because that's the way we did it together. I'm, I probably, honestly, we probably should not have it bolded to stay consistent with the template. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I will go through and change all of the ones that I already did. Um, that will be super simple. Um, I can do this one now, or if one of you wants to like suggest an edit, and then I can do the edit. Can I do that in the browser? I yes, wonder? you can. Excellent. I requested a change just now. I gotta figure out how to do this. Edit file. Yep. Easy. Look at that. Thank you, GitHub. One more. All right. Let's make sure it looks good. Perfect. All right. There we go. All right. Oops, that's a little bit close. All right. Um, anything else you guys see? I think I got everything. And I've been doing how we. Um, we also, if there was nothing for the header, like there hasn't been anything for resources. Um, so I just have deleted the corresponding header in the new template. In line 39, do we need the line break? Uh, no, that is an artifact of the copy paste. I, I can get rid of that as well. Well, does it show up? Does it make it look weird? Or should I just get rid of it anyways? Where is it? You said line 39. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Um, anything else you can catch, Georg? Um, um, no. Okay. Should we go ahead and merge it? Or wait, we got to wait for the, oh, the DCO is going to give me a, all right, hang on. Oh yeah, I recommend installing the DCO plugin. So it There's a plugin for the happen. browser? Mm. Yeah, there is. Okay, good to know. Um, let me, um, uh, let me find it real quick. I'll send you the link. All right, let's hope this doesn't. Yeah, I'll put in the chat. 
Perfect. Because I always forget if I don't have the plugin doing it automatically. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to you doing it on the command line. It'll do it for me, but uh, not on the browser. I keep forgetting that. All right. Yeah. I'm just going to save that off. Okay. I think it's rerunning the check. If I go back to here, maybe it'll figure it out. Cool. All right. So we just got to wait for the... I suppose we can wait for the, the PR to finish building on Travis, but... So I have a question. When, so if you look at the file in the final markdown view, and look all the way at the bottom, data collection strategies, we have specific description for different services and then mandatory parameters. And it looks like they're the same level of heading whereas mandatory parameters should be a subheading. And I don't, maybe make them italics or something. And which, which file are you looking at? Oh, here, I'll put it in the chat real quick. It's the one we were just talking about. So all the way at the bottom, the headings for specific description of mandatory parameters look identical. And I'm thinking mandatory parameters, maybe even remove those because it's just not. Is, hang on. So if you look at the, is italics one underscore or two underscores? I've been doing two and I, because I thought they were italics. If you look at it, if you look at the markdown, I did, I did two underscore because that's what I thought italics was. Is that, have I been doing it wrong this whole time? Because I, to me, they are separate. I thought I was doing italics. Hang on. Um, I've always done, I think italics is a single asterisk and bold is a double asterisk surrounding it. So, oh, so I think you can do, oh, it's probably either a single underscore or. So my proposal is to actually remove those sections altogether because we just have none in there, which is a waste mm -hmm. of space. Okay. Um, and then if there are perhaps sections in there, if there's stuff in there, we would just leave it and then have it be italicized like this. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I totally agree with that. I thought I was, that's what I get for not checking to see that the markdowns were doing correctly and relying on my own knowledge of markdown. Um, yeah, I thought that was being italics. Yeah, definitely. I agree GitHub Markdown it. has a few weirdnesses. Yeah, that, uh, that are you know things that make it special and different. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will go ahead and delete those on this, and then let's just make sure that it renders correctly. Perfect. I cool. think that will make this document look better. I agree. Wait, hang on. Before, <laughs> I'm not going to forget this time. There we go. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's anything else before I got the, cool. got the question, got the line break, got those. Anything else? Everything awesome. else looks good. All right. I'll go ahead and commit this. Uh, why is it saying there's 11 files changed? Oh, that's right, because of... Because I think I updated it with master. No! <sighs> Crap. Well, hang on. Let's... You did what? Uh, doing things weirdly and out of sync. Let's do it this way. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to... Um, here, how about this? <laughs> gonna get rid of that. I'm going to close this pull request. I'm just gonna do a new one. I don't wanna bother with messing with Git. Uh, metrics, <laughs> reviews, edit. 
paste it in. Just make sure it rendered correctly. Yep, create a new branch. Minus patch one, sign it off. All right. Okay. Yep. Is it going to open a pull request for me? Perfect. You click create pull request. Oh, I just thought it was going to open a branch. Well, yeah. Wait, never mind. Duh. <laughs> uh, process quality to new template. Yeah, and you can remove the sign off in here. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right. I'm just going to create it. There we go. Oh, much easier than trying to do it the get way. <laughs> just start over. <laughs> yeah. I'll approve it. Sounds good. All right, shall we wait for it to check or should we go ahead and move, merge it? <clears throat> I'll merge it. Sounds good. Nice. Um, oh, I think I lost my, oh, there's the meeting notes. So that was closed, merged. Which one was that that I just opened? 262. Instead. Um, should we go on to the to the next one? Oh, this one's probably going to be funny as well, isn't it? Um, so I'll probably have to make the same changes as we just talked about um, in this one, unbolting the question, and then there's, uh, wait, how much I want to bet there's a line break. Oh, no, it's not on this one. Um, and then getting rid of this these sections here. Um, the empty sections, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? I probably can just... Uh, Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Um, right. Resolution. Actually, no, it's okay. Oops. Don't save. Issues. No. I'm just going to do it this way since there's three files. Um, okay, I think that's that one. Issues active. Oops. on that one, and then was it issued duration? Or no, active, uh, what's the last one? Issues closed. Okay, uh, aha, this isn't this one. Okay. Um, oh wait, before I commit those, is there anything else in these files? So I, I just made all of those edits we talked about on the, the reviews one. Well, if you go to the bottom of closed in the section specific to different um, mm -hmm. platforms, we have bullet points whereas the other Documents don't have them as bullet points. They just have them as paragraphs. Okay. Like that? Yes. Perfect. Um, and then do you want to join the lines? Oh, um, how do you mean? Line 
101. Oh, yes. Good catch. So I'll do the same thing. Oh, wait. This is already one line. That's yeah. one line. Okay. Just make sure. Yeah. Let me check these as well. Uh, wait. Oh, it's. I can't you know, see if it. It's, if it's consistently that it's uh, with a fixed width, that's fine. It was just that one line was different from all of Yeah. Yeah. I'll just do this one. That's yeah. It's fine. Just, it's fine. Yeah, I'll leave it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, anything else, Georg? No. Nope. All right, I'll go ahead and commit these. Oops. Wait. Right. Okay. Anything else with this one? I think that one's good, good. to go. That's good. All right. Shall I merge it? Yes. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> um. Is this one ready to merge, be merged to the checks pass? Should we merge the, the reviews one as well? Yeah, we don't have to wait for the CI. All right. Let's do that one as well. There's no code that should be processed in there. Yep. One thing, Georg, you might know about this. I saw that the tests were running Python 3.4, 3.5, and 3.6. Like, it runs the test each time and all of those. I don't know. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. And then so the, the last one, um, it's a bit more substantial um, just in the fact that, um, so basically this was part of the, the metrics alignment work that we mentioned yesterday, Georg. So last night, when as we were going through some of those metrics, um, like the ones in the metrics folder, we noticed that a lot of them, there was uh, like, there was basically sometimes either completely incorrect or just very weird pairings between the file name and the metric that was inside of it. Um, like sometimes, you know, like contributors knew like under the new, under basically how we've been defining the file names, it's just the name of the metric, like capitalized with underscores instead of spaces. Um, so basically what this does is it goes through and each of those files that had a weird naming, um, it changes the name of the file to match the metric that's defined inside. And then also switches the metric over to be in the new template. Um, for this one, we only did metrics that were like <coughs> stub metrics. Um, and by that, I just mean the only thing that was in the file for the definition was this question. So we just moved the question over and then copied the rest of the template in um, just to go ahead and switch them over um, as well as renaming the file so we can find them easier, if that makes sense. That looks good to me. Um, okay. The link there, by the way, should be broken. The metric list link in the template. Oh, yeah. Because that's from the metric repo. Mm, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just, it's fine. OK. Shall we go ahead and merge this one? Yes. We're not going to <laughs> release a metric like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. All right. One second. So Sean, I saw you got into your Tesla and already in. Yeah, I'm back in the Bay Area for lunch with Elon. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like sweating. <laughs> all right, let's. Uh, okay, good. So that was all of the the pull requests um, that we had open. I think we got those all merged, didn't we? Yep. Sweet. Um, did I lose the? I lost the minutes in there somewhere. Oops. Merged. 
Oops. <coughs> Merged. Cool. Okay. Um, and then I know, Sean, is this the the Google Doc you were telling me about? Um, I, yeah, the, the... So that's if you create a if you click that link, that'll take you to a folder mm -hmm. that I've used to create a whole bunch of uh, metrics that have the template. I pasted everything in those templates in Markdown, and I put the name of the metric at the top, and then the question in for each metric, and a short description for each metric as a starting point mm -hmm. right now. And um, I figure if we can edit these Google Docs as Markdown, then we can just copy and paste them into Markdown Docs. And <clears throat> getting to Georg's uh, question from yesterday's auger Oops. call, um, we could do some work on the, you know, we could choose metrics, anonymous pandas and closed issues count now. We could, um, <clears throat> we could choose a metric to start working on in this meeting with the balance of time that we have. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that um, over the weekend we identified as like <clears throat> ones that, you know, both Augur and Grimoire Lab have. And so we should, these would be, and they are not currently defined. And so they would be good ones to define. Oops, I guess closed issue count, I didn't, well, I didn't get to objectives, no. Yeah. And the description I don't think is quite adequate, but it's under description it said the first line should be what goes in the act in the page for the focus area. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it would be a good idea with the time we have left since we got through those PRs pretty quick to to go through and, and just pick one of them. Um <coughs> I'm not particularly uh, married to picking any single one of them. If we just want to start with somebody else has, has an idea. Looks Somebody's like already... Anonymous Panda is editing closed issues count. All right, so let's do that. I didn't know I was a panda now. <laughs> well, that's what it, That's just what Anonymous Panda and Anonymous Fox is. I guess I'm the fox. <laughs> I, presumably. Yeah. I think the only way that we show up as our individual people is if you actually share it with our account. Uh, and I, I figured that would be much more cumbersome than just sharing a link that anybody with the link could edit. Yeah. So I'll be Panda then. Okay. I guess I'll be Fox. Okay, um, so... so... So for closed issue count, it's... Is it... Um, it's just how many issues have been closed, or right, so much discussion has been completed or rejected in a project. <clears throat> and I'd say it's our issues are discussion of of um, bugs and possible features for the most part, right? Yeah, features, issues, uh, bugs, support requests. Issues can be a whole variety of different things. So I, I, I want to, I don't think it's just, so I want to narrow it from discussion because there's also comments that occur on pull requests and commits mm -hmm. at the very least. So the discussion occurs around the other artifacts. And I, I call it a discussion threat now because an issue is a threat. So this is issues closed. This is just a count of issues closed. So there's, we're not counting the comments, but we could include that in the definition of closed issues. But I think there's another <clears throat> metric intended to look at um, So like issue contributors includes anyone who contributes discussion as well. Mm -hmm. So does, do we want closed issues count to include? The discussion thread? Uh, well, one issue is a thread. Ah, oh, it's the top post, post of a thread. Okay, how many discussion threads? Yeah, because the, yeah. It's like a forum thread. So one question I have is how exactly this will differ from 
the issues closed metric that we already defined. Oh, the, there, there is an issues closed metric? Yeah, it's called issues closed. It's not count. It doesn't say anything about the count. The question, I've got it pulled up on my screen. The question is, what is the count of issues that were closed during a certain period? Well, that's um, this. That is, that is this. Then so then maybe this should go away. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah, issues active, issues new, issues close. So all those should be deleted. And then on the spreadsheet, we should um, get rid of those. I th well, we should make sure they're accounted for somewhere because maybe the issue is. Um, <laughs> haha. Issue resolution, issues new, issues active, issues closed. Okay. So close, yeah, these two should just be deleted, That's right? It. And we should delete them from the repository Ooh. as well. <clears throat> I'll do a pull request to get those out of the repo real quick here. So which ones, the open issues count and the closed issues count? Yep. Yeah. Okay, then I'm removing them from the spreadsheet now. And I'm renaming. Um, some of the others so that we always start with issue. Mm -hmm. And we use underscore, at least in this working group. Do you want me to, I'll go ahead and delete those from the Google Drive. Um, I'm done. Well. Yeah, yeah, right yeah de delete them from the Google Drive. Yeah, I'm deleting okay. them from the repo. All right. Uh, it's nice when there's only three people, we can just multitask super easy. Closed issue resolution. Oh, they may not even, they may not even exist here. I thought they did. All right, it looks like they were already deleted from the repo. That's good. Hmm. I see. Okay. It threw me for a loop, Georg. I was looking for closed issue resolution duration and then suddenly the closed wasn't there. But I it makes sense. If it's closed if it's resolved, it's already closed. It makes yeah. It's a bit redundant. One, it's redundant, and two, all issue metrics start with issue. <clears throat> there you go. Convention in the evolution working group. Yep. Okay. Is that the one we're working on now, the resolution duration? That sounds like a good one to work on, yeah. I agree. I can't confirm that there is nothing in the repository already besides the question we've already got, so we're good there. Um, the question, how long does it take on average? How long issue remains open on average before it, was clo before it is closed? So then does the question, should the question say, how long does it take on average? Or should we just leave it as how long does it take for an issue to be closed? So I said on issue because the av things like average have been in this working group historically 
um, delineated in the filters. Okay. So the filters have been used for defining that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And it might be helpful to see. Let's see how we've done this before. I'm just going to paste in the bottom of this um, the the issues closed definition from our repo, <clears throat> mm -hmm. only because I think it's just uh, helpful to see what kind of information is in. Yeah, I agree. Doesn't really have any aggregators, does it? Average or mean? Well, that would that be a filter? Because it's not really an ag. Is that an aggregator? It doesn't. Yeah. Have yeah. All right. I'll buy it. Aggregators. Hmm. Although, yeah, interesting. <clears> hmm. <throat> sorry. Average, average amount of time. Um, should we specify a default unit of time or just say average amount of time? Wait, wait. over time, average, no, just average, um, wait, average, no, it is of time, You're right. Uh, average amount of time. Like in days, like days, weeks. Yeah, in, in days. Let's say days. That's the default. Here. By default. For an issue in a repository to be closed. So is it worth, I don't know if is it worth it is the right question, but like specifying having both just like a grand, like total average, like at this exact point in time, like right now when you run this metric, here's the average amount of time. And then also providing some sort of like, here's what it's looked like over time. Like here is like, we calculated it at this point and then at this point and then at this point and then like providing that that time series of like each point in time, like how long it was taking at that point in time for average for issues to be closed. That's a filter we can apply. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to filter it by issues open during a certain period of time or issues closed during a certain period of time, then that's a filter. And if you want to plot that on a graph, it's still a filter, in my opinion. Um, provides uh, average or wait. Starting from I did beginning eight to the I did end. I just create a pull request for cleaning up the formatting and issues closed. Sounds good. I'll take a look at it. It's first charge from the prior to the beginning date to the provided end date. What about 
Do you want me? You guys want me to keep sharing my screen? I think it's helpful. Okay. Oops. So one of, the, one of the things that mm. thank you, Sean. One of the things we should clarify in the filter is that we can look at the open time and the close time. We can filter it by both. Had the issue, issue resolution duration. Yeah, that makes sense because you may want to just look at ones that have already been closed. You may want to look at ones that are open. So what you want to include in your average is? Well, the resolution duration for open issues doesn't make sense because they're not really Right, open. that's true. But we can look at um, during this time period, how many issues did we close or did we close old issues? Then we filter by close mm -hmm. time. Or we can look mm -hmm. at, okay, mm -hmm. over time, how long did it take from when we opened it? And we filter by that. Okay, I see, I think I see. like. I think I understand what you mean. So like having, yeah, just go for it. Um, but so having over a period of time, how long did it take us to close issues that were, <laughs> can you explain it again? I'll try to write it out. Maybe okay. that that'll, sense. that'll help. Ah. This desk is loud. It sounds very metal. It's very metal. You are correct. <laughs> it's nice and spacious, but very loud. Right, so how long issues created during provided time period were open? Okay. Now, provided time period should be provided date to the provided end date. Yep. So we can copy paste that. <clears throat> Okay, so it provides information for how long issues created from the provided beginning date to the provided end date took to be resolved. Okay, that makes sense. I see what you're saying, Georg. I, I agree, I like those filters. All right. So we could do visualization. Um, average over time period. <clears throat> over. And then I'm also going to copy the by actor and by groups of actor from the closed metric because I think those are still valuable mm -hmm. um, filters. Uber, <laughs> for example, used it to identify a bias in how they responded to mm -hmm. uh, issues.
Vectors, time, aggregators. I'm also going to copy this parameter for the implementation. The period of time. Cool. And I also added a visualization down here, just the average over time, like for. Uh, oh, in the description. Right now, the description is from issues closed. Um, but I think we should. Uh, oh no! Wait, this is at the bottom. I I like the idea of including in our description here that issues are defined as in issues closed because it only makes sense to look at closed issues. I'll be right back. You're good. So if we look at issues close. <clears throat> so Sean, if you look at my screen, this section over here about closed issues, yeah. from the issues closed metric, um, I think it would probably be worth it to copy this over into the data collection strategies just to define what a closed issue is. Um, but you, you just link to it. Yeah, honestly, I might just do that. Yeah, I wouldn't repeat the content. Yeah, just link to it. Yeah, because yeah, also because then we'd have to change it every time this changed. So exactly. Good point. Good point. Lower maintenance costs. I like it. Huh. Um, Should I put this link as a relative link or an absolute link, like to the GitHub page? Um, a relative link. Okay. So a relative link within the repository. Yep. <clears throat> do I have to do a dot slash? Yeah. Yeah. And we might have to change the link um, during the release. release. Yeah. But that is yeah. uh, something that Kevin and I will probably do. Mm -hmm. um, wait. Uh, I don't know. Those issue resolution duration. <clears throat> I 
I'm gonna look at how we define this code changes. The raw relink to auger. So I provided a link to Augur's documentation for the closed issue resolution <coughs> duration since we've got it. Um, is there a corresponding one for Grimoire Lab Georg that we should put in here as well? Uh, I'll have to do this up outside of the talk. Uh, okay. The meeting. Okay. But yes, we do have that metric. Awesome. Just close the issue. Um, are there any other possible visualizations besides just doing the average over time? Should we also just include the total average over all time, like as its own visualization? Like instead of doing what it was for each of these time periods, just like a number, like for this time period. Is that a visualization? Yeah, it's a different visualization. All right. Is there such a thing as a total average? Nope. I just, as soon as I typed it, I was like, wait a minute. Am I, I, mean, I mean total average is in. Just one average. Yeah, just one average. <laughs> I'll say that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't think we need to specify it. It's pretty much self -explanatory. Yeah. We can say number average or visualization of a mm -hmm. uh, chart. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we do that anywhere else. No, we don't. I don't think so. Okay. Station state question strategies. Um, I don't think, we, do we have any references for this? Should I just delete the section? References? Yeah, at the bottom. I don't know anything right now. All right, I'll just delete it. Ooh. Me. Yep, I think this is a good first draft. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, really quickly, I know we're almost at time. Um, for the yeah, for for this line right here, um, the for issues that were reopened and closed again, um, does does that include like over a time period, an issue was opened and then closed and then like reopened? Is it like it's closed and stays closed within the time period or only it had a close in the time period? If that makes sense. Okay, so the way that I was intending this sentence is to say, if we have an issue that was reopened and closed and reopened and closed, we only look at the last closed. Any closed and reopened in the middle do not count for this metric. Okay. And so if, it has not been closed again, then it's obviously not resolved. 
Okay. Okay. I think I think that's Okay. That makes sense. I agree with that. Um Yeah, I like this. This is a good first draft. Um Shall we wait to for you to put the documentation to the link to Grimoire Lab before we oh, issue yeah. a pull request, Georg? No, you can put it in. I'll issue a separate pull request too. All right. Are you going to copy stuff, um, Carter? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Excellent. I think we're at time as well. Yeah. So, yay, we had a productive meeting. Yeah. Got all that done. Do you want to rename the file name as well? Oh, yes. Added? Resolution, resolution, duration. Let me make sure that link works. And this link, this link, this link. Okay, none of them immediately aired, so I'm going to say it's good enough. All right. Create a new branch. All right. Are we good for me to issue the pull request? Remember the DCO. Oh, good catch. Yeah, I need to bot when I have you, Georg. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead and create it. Yeah, All I right. think we should be a little bit more descriptive and we can leave it open for others to review. Oh, yes. I'll just say, how about this? Define issue resolution. And we can put in the description also that uh, we worked on this during the weekly call or by weekly call. The issue. Yep. Resolution duration. To be more in line with how we discussed it during the 11.7 weekly resolution call. We don't have weekly calls, but that's okay. Oh, oops. I'm being nitpicky here. Well, otherwise it might be confusing. All right. I say we leave it open for now and let people review it, but sounds good. I know we're a little bit over, so. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Yep. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.